All right, let's see if I can make it back to the house before he burns me. There you go. The alpha's dead. There he goes. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my usual me. and Welcome back to Atlas. Last night, we had version 9.2 and 9.3 drop. And we had a few things that have changed. Some of them are good. Some of them not so much. But there's quite a bit here that's actually really nice. Uh, let's see. The fires have got a major nerf, guys. So if you're using those exclusively like I was, like I wasn't using firearms. I was strictly using fire arrows. We might need to relook our strategy because it doesn't look like they're going to be as good as they were. They reduced, they oh, the default resources right off the bat, guys, and taming speeds have been increased to two times the baseline, which is great because their baseline was garbage. They knew it was garbage. Everybody said it was garbage. They finally, they finally doubled it. So hopefully that is going to help you out. I think it's an amazing change. I think it's great. It needed to happen. They need to do that in arc too. Just flat out turn it two times, call it a day. And stop doing those extinction events, but that's them, not this. So, uh, reduce the minimum damage and minimum percentage on flame arrow buff by 33%. That's huge. That's a full third weaker than they used to be. Now, it was taking about three or four fire arrows to kill an alpha. Now it's going to take a five or six, maybe seven, to kill an alpha if you hit the ground. Hopefully, the ground uh, the ground shots still work, where you you kite the uh, the the alpha or the animal into the flames and it does more damage but we'll see it says it reduced max damage done on flame arrow projectile hit to 50 but i don't know if that's going to affect the the ground hits because if you don't know you hit the ground in front of the animal you don't hit the animal and what happens is the flames shoot up and do more damage to the animal that way than you would if you hit them with a the flame arrow that's just a trick we learned long you know a while back so increased gravity on flame arrows to 20 percent to make it less range um i don't know if you get up arkham more or if it just flat out won't go as far all right so increased gravity on i see uh, increased fire gel cost of the flame arrows by 100 percent so they cost twice as much now it's still not crazy it's still not it doesn't it cost that much and it, it's a little more work it's not bad added durability consumption to flame and stone arrows one durability per shot 40 shots per, for bow repair. So you only get 40 shots, 40 arrows, whether they're flame or stone, before you got to repair your bow, and they change the bow durability from 50 to 40. I guess that means it's going to start taking damage, uh, when it's going to start losing durability when you're using it. Didn't before. We didn't have to repair it. So I was that's why I was using a bow exclusively. Uh, I stopped using a blunderbuss or the pistols because they were less uh, they were less reliable than, than the flame arrows were. I mean, occasionally I caught myself on fire, but really, for the most part, it was much better than having a, a, a firearm. But now we may have to reevaluate, like I said. All right, they fixed the bug, which allowed mortars to have rapid fire. Boy, that uh, an automatic mortar, that's, that's amazing. I didn't get that far, so I don't know. Fixed an issue where upkeep timer on PVE claim flags was not correctly updating. Okay. Company member and company groups and alliance data loss issues should hopefully be resolved. I think in point three they messed with that too a little bit more. Um, let's see. Official network companies are now hard limited to 500 members, and this is a current measure until the company system receives a back end overhaul in the long term. Yeah, I mean, you know what? If you have more than 500 members, I don't know what to say. I just, um, you know, you're just, you're too big. I mean, you, 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 are you going to just take over the entire map? Is that your entire mad? Just global dominance? Is that what it is? Because uh, in that case, no one's going to play the game. It's just no one is going to play the game if it's like that. If one group dominates the entire map, no one's going to play because there won't be any, tr any any reason to play. So, yeah, I think it's a great thing. Fix, island, or fix inland water buoys being invisible and fix buoys so they no longer prevent resource res uh, respawn. Yeah, because we were, there was a major problem. Everybody thought it was uh, the lighthouses or it could have been the flags, or it was the buoys. Evidently, they think it's the buoys. Hopefully, this will fix the resource respawn problem. I didn't have any issues, but I wasn't using buoys, so I think maybe that might have been the issue. Prevent ship collision damage from occurring when caused by other player ships on PvE servers. I can just, I, I wasn't there, but I can just imagine people realizing you can damage one ship with another, and they were just trolling people by, you know, ramming boats into galleons, sinking galleons. On PVE servers, that's got to be that's got to be uh, it's got to be messed up when somebody comes in and rams your ship and sinks it. 
when you think you're safe. All right, fixed sunken ship area indicators lingering even after a shipwreck has been entirely salvaged. Yeah, I mean, if it's already salvaged, you don't want to... You don't want an indicator saying that you can salvage it still. It's a waste of time. Reduce deep water aggressive creature frequency and targeting range. Okay. So you re they reduce them. So they're not going to have as many aggressive creatures. And they're not going to be able to target you from as far away. That's good. That's good. I mean, if you can't see the animal, they probably shouldn't uh, shouldn't um, target you. Um, and I, yeah, But I don't... They didn't really... I didn't ever really experience too many deep water aggressive creatures. Although I'm, I'm not diving, so, so that that's probably has something to do with it. Melee weapons are now temporarily ineffective against ship planks. Later this will be changed so that it only is ineffective uh, against anchored ship planks. Um, all right. I don't know if that is for the player as well as uh, opposing players or if that is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. But just so you guys know... That doesn't mean you can't demolish a plank, right? I got a comment in, in my comment section, somebody saying, well, you, 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 you have to use your tools to damage your ship planks. No, you don't. Hold down the E button and slide over to demolish. And you can demolish your planks. You can demolish anything by just holding down the E button and going to demolish. If you didn't know that, you don't, if you've been using your tools to destroy your, your, your planks, you don't have to do that. So like my video with the hidden room in the boat in the ship you don't have to use a tool to destroy the plank to get into the into the hidden room you use the demolish option and demolish the plank and then replace it later so i guess i wasn't clear about that some people don't know how to play the game yet and and so i should have explained that better and i didn't so i apologize for that sailing against the wind now provides 30 percent of the with the wind sail force as opposed to zero. That's amazing. Also increase the amount of sail force provided by minimum wind speed conditions by 30%. And the sail force provided by maximum wind speed conditions by 15%. We're going to go a lot faster, guys. And with the wind against you, you're going to have you're going to be going a little bit quicker, even though, I mean, because it was fighting the wind was hard. It was really rough. It took a long time to get to another island. Hopefully this is better. Every tame can now get a minimum of 30 tame levels to level ups put into it. Plus, however many base levels it had when wild. For example, a level 5 wild wolf would get 35 tame level ups to apply, whereas a level 40 wild wolf would get 70 tame levels to use. And they also increased the base carrying weight of all ships by 40%. Let's go ahead and uh, let me jump into game right quick and we'll, we'll check out some of, these, some of these things. Okay, so it's 4 fire gel per arrow now, guys, instead of 2. So, yeah, so they doubled the amount of fire gel. I, I don't know if they increased the amount it cost to make fire gel as well. It's looking like they, they, they raised the price. Maybe not. Maybe it's the same as it always was. It might be the same as it always was. But it does take four fire gel now to make one, one, one fire arrow, guys. So just so you know, that, that's not bad. I, I still don't think that's bad. All right, guys, I've got 40 fire arrows on me. Let's go ahead and let's jump down here. Let's go ahead and test this out right quick. we got going on here so these are our fire arrows see what about the distance they were talking about they increase the gravity it's still going a good distance so maybe you just gotta you gotta increase your arc maybe that's what they're talking about and I gotta find something to attack all right, we've got an Alpha 216 here. Let's see. Let's see what uh, what that's going to do for me. Let's go with. Let's go over here. All right, there it goes. Oh, it's still doing a decent amount of damage, guys. Still doing a decent amount of damage to these alphas. Look at that. You see how much he's burning? See how fast he's burning, guys? I'm going to have... And this is burning for a long long period of time still. So the fire arrows are still pretty viable, guys. 
Oh, he caught me on fire, but I should I should be able to kill him, I think. Yeah, it's still viable, guys. It's uh, it's it's. I mean, now this boar's probably gonna kill me, to be honest, because. Yep, it's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. But it looks like the fire arrows are still pretty effective, guys. So I wouldn't be too worried about that nerf. It's still pretty solid. Oh, he's still mad at me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, guys, he's going to kill me. So I'm going to come back and get my stuff. All right, let's see if I can make it back to the house before he burns me. There you go. The alpha's dead. There he goes. See, guys, if you hit the ground in front of the alpha, uh, or in front of the animal, it does more damage than if you hit it directly. So they haven't fixed that. They haven't nerfed that. So, yeah, I mean, alphas are still definitely killable with my fire arrows. It just, uh, just you know, you, obviously you got to watch out being hit by them. But so, yeah, so get, killing alphas is not a big deal. And it looks like fire arrows got nerfed a little bit, but I don't think they nerfed them nearly as much as what they think they did. So, all right, guys, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And the durability on this bow. Uh, how many did I shoot? I shot six arrows. Yeah, it's going down. It's going down. So, and it's showing durability, 34 out of 40. So, but yeah, I shot six arrows. So that's right. Okay, so the durability is going down like it's supposed to be, but the fire arrows are not nearly as nerfed as they, th as they say they are. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's see. Oh, the Thames. Now get a minimum of 30 level ups put into it. I want to see if it's retroactive. Tell me my bunny rabbit has more levels. It is retroactive, guys. So I had 11 wild levels when it was tamed. When it's finished, it was 11, and I got my 11. But now I have more levels. I can, I'm going to be able to level up my bunny rabbit again. That's amazing. It is retro. Let's see. I mean, it's, it started back after the patch. Yep, more levels. More levels. More levels. Yeah, boy. Well, that, that all right. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Now these animals that I thought I was going to have to cull, I may not have to cull. It might actually be look at that 17 levels, man. 17 levels. Well, actually, yeah, well, that would have been the same anyway. But it doesn't matter. I'm super excited about this. Yeah, that's great. So I was afraid that the tamed animals weren't going to be affected. They are affected, so that's amazing. Really, really good stuff. All right, the John B., I've had this sloop since the beginning, and I've only put carry weight into it. I put, a, I put enough, I put enough um, levels into it to get me one more bed on here, so we have two beds. But everything else has gone into weight. So... It's a level. It's a level thirty sloop, and it increased the weight. It was thirty six hundred last night, I think, and now it's forty nine hundred carry weight. So I think it was like thirty six hundred last night. I'm pretty sure, and now it's forty nine hundred carry weight. Oh my gosh, guys! It's like that's insane. That is great. I'm really happy with that. That is amazing. What's the carry? Oh, I didn't check the carry weight on the other boat. Like, I, I can carry a lot more, a lot more stuff, man. A lot more stuff. Super good. 40% is a lot. And those galleons, I think they're, the galleons, don't they have uh, like 10,000 carry weight? Or 20,000 carry weight. So, 40% for them is really huge. And this guy here. So, now we, got, we can carry 10,000 carry weight on the schooner, guys. 10,000 carry weight. Now, I've been adding carry weight to mine. So, uh, so... You know, that's to, it's to be expected that it's going to be higher than what you might see on yours. But anyway, and also the demolished thing, guys, people, somebody in the comment section below said, or in the comment section of one of my videos said that they, um, they, they said, well, you have to use your tools to, to get into the wall and you can damage it. You can damage your own wall still, guys, you can still damage your own stuff, but you don't have to do that. You just hold down the E button and go to demolish, and it'll demolish the wall. So for those of you who don't understand um, the, the hidden wall here, let me show you. I've got, a, I've got a hidden wall back here with two chests. 
in my sloop. So yeah, and then you just replace the wall later. It's really simple. I don't. I, I guess I didn't explain how to use that before. So I apologize for not showing you how to use the the uh, the, the the secret room before. But that's how you do. Now I got to replace that wall though before we get out of here. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that is the patch notes. Let me just go back to the uh, patch notes of nine point three real quick. All right, guys. So nine point three says it resolves some server side stalls related to perf large companies. Fixed alliance chat sometimes duplicating messages and fixed a bug where clients could end up invisible when demolishing a podium. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the patch notes, and I uh, hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it. Hope that was helpful to you, and I hope you enjoy Atlas. Guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.